Now in this video, they want us to find VO in the circuit using node voltage analysis. So VO is going to be the voltage at these two terminals, right? But we know that's also going to be the voltage across this 2K resistor, right? So VO is the voltage across this 2K resistor here. Because they want us to use the node voltage method to solve this, we know the first thing we should do is label all of our essential nodes. So we know this is going to be what we can call node 1. And we know we have one more essential node, which is going to be at the bottom here. But we also want to take one of these essential nodes as our ground node. So I'm just going to take the node at the bottom to be our ground node. Now, because we're going to be using node voltage analysis, we want to find the voltage at each node. So I'm just going to write this as V1. Now, to find the voltage at each node, we're going to actually have to use Kirchhoff's current law. Every time I think about this, or every time I start to solve these types of problems, I always chuckle to myself, right? Because we're going to use the node voltage method, but to write the node voltage equations, we're actually going to be using Kirchhoff's current law. <laughs> you, do, do you see how that works? So we're finding the node voltage, but we're actually going to be using Kirchhoff's current law. It's crazy. It's crazy how these two methods intertwined and they actually work out perfectly, right? So let's just begin. Um, I'm sorry for getting sidetracked. So we're going to write the node voltage at node 1. Now we know we're going to assume that the current is leaving the node going in this direction here. So we're going to take the difference between these two voltages divided by this 2000 ohm resistor. So we have V1 minus, and because we're entering the positive terminal of this voltage source, it's going to be a positive current. So we're going to have V1 minus positive 12 over 2000. Now we're going to assume that the current is going in this direction here. And because we assume the current is leaving the node, and we have a current source that's actually going to be entering the node, we're going to treat that value of the current as a negative current. So we're going to write it as negative 2 times 10 to the negative 3. Plus, we're going to assume the current is going in this direction here, right? And when we assume the current is going in this direction, we notice we have two resistors. And these two resistors are going to have the same exact current flowing through them. So if this current we label as IO, we know IO is going to flow through this 4K resistor and this 2K resistor. So we can actually just sum up these two resistors because they're in series, right? And we can write this as V1 over 4,000 plus 2,000. And we know we can do that because we know IO equals voltage, or we can say V1, over these two resistors here, which is going to be, when we sum it up, it's really going to be 4K plus 2K, which is going to give us 6K. So that's all we did in this particular situation here, right? Okay, now let's continue to solve this. We know we're going to have V1 minus 12 over 2000 plus negative 2 times 10 to the negative 3 plus V1 over 6000. And we know all of that should equal 0, right? Now when we start to simplify this, we know the LCD is going to be 6,000, so we're going to multiply each term by 6,000. Therefore, we're going to get 3V1 minus 36 minus 12 plus V1 equals 0. So when we simplify this now, we're going to get 4V1 equals 48. Therefore, V1 equals 12 volts. So we know the voltage at this node is 12 volts. Now, they don't want us to find the voltage at this node. They actually want the voltage V0, right? So they want us to find the voltage across this 2K resistor. 
Now, how do you think we should go about this? Well, there are a few ways we can go about this. We can actually use this equation that we wrote out for the current I0. So we can find the current I0 using Ohm's law because we know V1 is 12 volts. So we can substitute 12 volts into this equation to find the current I sub zero. Once we have the current I sub zero, then we can multiply the current by the resistance, which is 2K to get the value VO. That's one way to approach this. We can actually do a KVL loop, right? So we can say this is going to be loop one and we can do KVL at this loop to find the value of this 2K resistor here. Another thing we can do is we can do voltage division because we have two resistors in series and we know the sum of those voltages. Therefore, we can use voltage division to find the value of the voltage across one of those resistors. Now, any way you want to do it, you can do it that way. Now, I think voltage division is the easy way to solve this. So I'm just going to use the KVL method. As a matter of fact, I'll actually use both methods, but I'm going to start with the KVL method first. So we're going to have KVL at loop one. And when we start to walk around this loop, we know we're going to be summing up voltages. So we need to know the polarity of each element, right? So let's start at this resistor here. Now we know it's a positive 12 volts. So we're going to have a voltage drop. So we're going to assume it's going to go positive to negative. Also for this resistor, it's going to go positive to negative. And of course the voltage VO, the polarity of that is going to be the same as this resistor here. So we know it's going to be positive to negative. Now for the current source, it's going to be the same thing. Okay, now because we did node voltage analysis, we found the voltage at node one, which is going to be the voltage across that current source, but it's also going to be the voltage across those resistors if we were to sum them together. So if we added four plus two, the voltage across that 6K resistor is going to be the same voltage across that current source. So of course the polarities are going to be the same. It's going to be positive to negative. So look at it like this. We have this current source here. And we're saying that if we were to sum up these two resistors, they're going to be in parallel. So four plus two is going to give us six. We know that's going to be kilo ohm. And we have this two milliamp right here. So if the voltage across these resistors is going to be positive to negative, then of course the voltage across this current source is also going to be positive to negative. Okay. Now let's start to walk around this loop. We're going to actually start at the current source here. So when we walk around this loop and we enter the current source, we're going to enter the negative terminal first, which means this is going to be a negative voltage. Now what is the voltage of this current source? Well, we know this current source is in a branch that has the node voltage V1. And we just found the node voltage. Therefore, we can start to write our loop equation. And we know we're going to have a negative. And in the current source, that voltage is going to be V1. I'm going to substitute in the value of V1 in the next step. Now, when we continue to walk around this loop, we're going to enter the positive terminal of this 4K resistor. Now, even though we don't know the voltage across this 4K resistor exactly, we drew in a current here. And we label our current IO. We know to find the voltage for a resistor, we're going to use Ohm's law, which is going to be current times resistance. So we can just use Ohm's law in this particular case to represent the voltage at this resistor. So we're going to have plus, because we're entering the positive terminal, 4000 IO, which is the current. Now, as we continue to walk around this loop, we're going to enter the positive terminal once again, and we have another resistor. So we're going to write this as 2000, which is the value of that resistor times the current, because we know the same current through this resistor is going to be the same current in this resistor because these resistors are in series. Therefore, we're going to have for that voltage plus 2000 times the current IO. And we should know all of that must equal zero. Now we know the value of V1, we just found it right up here. So we're going to substitute in the value for V1. We have 
negative 12 plus we have 4,000 IO plus 2,000 IO. That's going to give us 6,000 IO equals 0. When we start to simplify this now, we're going to get 6,000 IO equals 12. Therefore, when we solve for IO, IO equals 12 divided by 6,000. IO equals 2 milliamps. Okay, so we know the current that's going to be flowing through these two resistors here. So to find the voltage VO, we can just use Ohm's law. We can say VO, right, is going to equal IO times this 2K resistor. So we know we're going to, so we know we're going to have VO equals we know we have io we just found the value of io which is 2 milliamps so we can write this as 2 times 10 to the negative 3 multiplied by the resistance and the resistance is going to be 2000 because we have a 2k resistor so when we multiply this we're going to get vo equals 4 volts so this is going to be the voltage at that 2K resistor. So our answer for this particular problem is going to be 4 volts. Now we found the voltage VO by using Kirchhoff's voltage law. Another way we could have done this is we could have used voltage division. Now because voltage division is very easy to do for this particular problem, I'm just going to do it, right? So we know they want us to find the voltage across this 2K resistor. We have two resistors in series and we know the value of the voltages for both resistors. Now all we had to do is use voltage division. So we could have said, we know we want to find the voltage VO. So we had VO equals VS. And we should recall that VS stands for the source voltage. In this particular case, the node voltage V1 multiplied by the resistor we want to find the voltage at over both resistance. That's going to be summed together. Now we can simplify this to be VO equals, we know the voltage source, like I said, is going to be the node voltage at node 1. So the voltage at node 1, so we can write this as V1 multiplied by R0, R0 plus R1. Now let's start to fill out this equation. We know the voltage VO equals V1 we found to be 12 volts, right? So we could have written 12 multiplied by R0 is going to be the value of the resistor at that voltage they want us to find, which is going to be 2000. So we have 2000 over R0 again, which is 2000 plus R1, which is the next resistor that's going to be a 4k resistor so we have 4000 so when we start to solve for this vo equals 12 multiplied by 2 over 6 therefore vo equals 4 volts so this was another way we could have went about this um, this way might have been a little quicker so any way you decide to tackle these problems as long as you know what you're doing and as long as you know which technique you're going to use and as long as that technique is applicable to that particular situation, you will always get the correct answer. All right. So for this particular problem, the voltage VO is going to equal 4 volts, which is the voltage across this 2K resistor.